So you created Lost Boys. Do you ever return them? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode six of Sup with Heavy J. Joining me today is a very special guest, Mr. Stay Young himself. Woo! To be honest, I've never had a real celebrity on my show yet, so I'm a little <laughs> nervous. I'm only a celebrity here, dude. Everyone knows Stay Young. What is the reason for career path you've chosen? Oh, dude, the real reason, I was in university, and I had maybe, like, a semester left. Like, I think I had, like, four classes left, like, 12 credits. They offered me a job to work at the mall as a manager. It was right after my daughter was born, so I fucking dropped out of university and took that fucking job like an yeah. idiot. That's uh, probably the biggest okay. mistake I've made total in my life. If that didn't happen, I would not be here at all. Yeah, no, I think you made the right decision. Your Fuck favorite... Man part about it like what's what drives you what gets you excited my new favorite thing in the fucking world developing and like breaking artists on, into the scene let me tell you you are amazing <laughs> at that it's the fucking and best you are fucking good at it so you have a daughter we know that you're yeah. a father yeah. what's your favorite nail polish color uh black That's i was cool. thinking of painting these ones black because i'm like obviously never going to be employable again so i would just be a total freak so all the time it, yeah. that's what i think that's cool yeah, she likes pink and purple, though. So you broke your arm. I'm wondering, did the guy finish before you went to the hospital? Nah, dude, we had to go right there. Like, he finished on the way, but it was like a solo thing. It wasn't great. So you created Lost Boys. Did you ever return them? Those boys found their fucking home. So your name is Stay Young? Yes. Fucking liar. <laughs> you know that my first rap name was Young Liar? Liar. liar. What yeah. young liar. So how is it being the tallest Filipino in the world? So like I did have an option to go play professional basketball in the Philippines. Yeah. And I've been athletic for a long time, but... Two knee surgeries, two ACL repairs on this one. Fuck. And like, that's because you're so tall. Well, jumping up is fun. It's like when you come down, like it's hard for me to take the impact. Like, you know, I'm 5'5", five five, the rim is 10 feet, and I dunk, you know, multiple times a game. <laughs> so you're from Winnipeg. From Winnipeg to Pegging Ruin, what's your favorite <laughs> sewer person song? <laughs> folk song from a settlement on the edge of the earth. I think it's the best sewer person song ever. Diamonds or pineapples? Like, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, so diamonds, but also, like, been on a lot of cruises where there's swingers, so, like, pineapples. Depends where I'm at. All right, last question. What's up? Say you weren't doing music. What other area, field, would you think you might be interested in pursuing? Honestly, if it wasn't for music, and, like, I did end up quitting fucking university, I'd probably end up being a roofer with my fucking dad. But if, like, I could have, like, unlimited budget and just study whatever I want, I think I'd write, like, computer programs and make apps and shit. Really? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I think, like, down the road in music, like, I think I make plugins. State media plugins are gonna be really fucking oh, good. Oh, fuck, yeah. Like, you wanna sound like Heavy J? Like, hit the fucking Heavy J setting. There's, like, lots of money there. Thank you guys for joining in thank you stay young brother thank it's you it's been a pleasure dude i fucking love this show this is great i know it's amazing nice. do we nail it we're so. recording right no <laughs> <laughs>